Well, Carlo and Marcella, it was a very emotional day here at Camp Pendleton. About 500 people gathered here to honor these fallen Marines. As their commanding officer put it, they gave their lives so others could live. On the flight line with a backdrop of flags and a UH-1Y Huey helicopter inscribed with their names, tears as loved ones and their fellow comrades honored them. Their last acts were acts of heroic sacrifice, selfless acts for fellow human beings who desperately needed their help. Captain Dustin Lucas Savage, Captain Christopher Norgren, Sergeant Ward Johnson, Sergeant Eric Seaman, Corporal Sarah Medina, and Lance Corporal Jacob Hug died May 12th when their helicopter crashed as a second devastating earthquake hit Nepal. The Marines were there providing humanitarian aid to a country still reeling from the first quake. They went out doing what they loved. Captain Lucas Savage described as a strong family man who was excited for the birth of his second child. He couldn't stop talking about how excited he was to have a son on the way. He's a man who loved his family like no other I've met. Captain Norgren, a former football coach. Coaching those kids meant the world to Chris. And after all, he dreamed of returning to that one day. Sergeant Johnson was married to the love of his life. With their two beautiful sons, Nate and Noah, they cherished one another and cherished each day together. And Sergeant Seaman, a father of two himself, who excelled in the Marines from day one. He was well prepared for every mission and task the Marine Corps requested of him. A 21-gun salute for these brave Marines who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And everyone talked about how the mission to Nepal is one that all six Marines said they felt honored to be a part of. They were just weeks away from finishing up their deployment. We'll send it back to you.